The function of well-designed staging is a high priority in creating the Winter Guard program. Not only does it delight the eye for its own qualities of interest and appeal, but it's the means whereby we set up effects and present important equipment or dance segments. The principles of design somehow intimidate many new instructors. In the course of their own involvement in Winter Guard, this is the one component whose techniques they were never taught. They would, of course, do their own drill, but were never privy to the process involved in creating it. The purpose of this film is to provide those techniques and assist the beginning and the intermediate designer. This is an exciting and challenging aspect of what we do. It requires patience in learning its secrets, but once understood, will set you on the road to a more successful Winter Guard experience. It's important to know your design options as you approach the creation of your program. We have always known geometric design as drill. This choice has the longest term of recognition and use in our activity. It involves changing geometric shapes and requires the designer to understand how each shape can be moved to evolve or to change into another shape. It can move at any speed. It produces effect mostly for its own value. It's recognizable to the audience and calls primarily upon line, shape, and balance in its creation. The pathways involved in freeform design are neither accidental nor random. This involves the individual movement of each member and must be planned or created one person at a time checking constantly to be sure that visual balance is maintained on the stage and that the aesthetics of motion please the eye. The purpose behind freeform design is to manipulate space for the presentation of major equipment or movement statements, to provide contrast from geometric design, or to support a story requiring interaction between the performers. It also creates interest through trace patterns that each pathway creates. Theatrical design is what you see in musical theater. It involves the entrances and exits of characters, the interaction of the characters with one another, and often calls for freeform um, concepts and some geometry. It draws on principles of balance and focus and will use the designed character with equipment and body to create dimensionality and interest. This choice is a possibility if you are telling a story or building a show around a character or drama. The principles behind all three of these design approaches are the basis for this study. principles of design that you are now observing represent the small number of elements upon which the designer draws to compose the visual arrangement. As you view these elements, realize that it is the imaginative and creative combining that results in good design and quality composition. Like the 26 letters of the alphabet serving as the basis for the entire English language, these tools are the alphabet of visual design and offers many possibilities. The unique blend and layering of these elements comprise the language of the moving visual script and are seen in every aspect of what we do. This study will guide the eye to translate these principles from static design to moving design. Design is the grouping or arrangement of the elements of a composition. Herein you consider form, function, time, and unity. Composition is the arrangement of forms, lines, values, and other pictorial elements into a picture design. Composing involves four levels, intellectual, emotional, visual, physical. Think it, feel it, see it, do it. Line is a set of markings that leads the viewer's eye through a work of art. Line can be straight, curved, or even implied as seen in the lower example. Line is also used to define shape and is a principal component of geometric drill. Here you see line as might be reflected in a drill. The circles represent the individuals creating first a diagonal line as in a drill set. The lower graphic reflects what might be a curved line created by individuals in a drill set. Shape is an area defined by an enclosing line, color, or value. 
There are four basic shapes in art, sphere, cone, cylinder, and cubes. These shapes represent a three-dimensional image because they contain volume and mass. Alone or combined, they suggest the structure of almost everything. Their two-dimensional counterparts are viewed as circle, triangle, rectangle, and square, and are commonly recognized in geometric drill. There are four similar basic shapes at a body level. Pin shape, which is vertical, wall, which is flat, ball, which is round, and twist, which is curved. <clears throat> Balance is a visually favorable distribution of elements. Symmetry represents formal balance, while asymmetry represents an informal balance. Symmetry can be divided by either a diagonal, horizontal, or vertical plane, as shown in these drawings. Each side reflects the other in a formal distribution of weight. This example of symmetry demonstrates equal distribution of weight. This asymmetric example shows us that weight is informally distributed while still presenting a good sense of balance. Dimension is the use of height, width, and depth within form, body, or equipment. There are as many as 27 places in space through which the body or equipment moves as is demonstrated by the motion patterns in these graphics. Dimensional moves offer greater interest, provides greater opportunity for musical interpretation, and puts broader animation into the performer. Texture is the designed relief from stark line using depth and width. The graphics shown here demonstrate the contrast or relief texture offers to stark line. A similar concept is achieved through body and equipment as contrasting to unison efforts. Space is an area used for the presentation of a design. Positive space is the area containing the subject matter. Negative space is the area not occupied by the subject matter and surrounding the subject matter. The filled forms in these graphics reflect positive space forms because they occupy the subject matter. The unfilled forms contain negative space within and around the bounding line of the shape. This geometric form is a positive space diamond interlocking. The white background is the negative space which encompasses, enhances, and is found in the middle of the graphic. Mass is the feel of weight, heaviness, or volume. The graphic at the bottom of the screen demonstrates mass in a simple form offering contrast to the lighter, less weighted square above it. It could also be read as a positive space form. Color is a powerful tool which can influence the look of weight. It can be strong or soft. It can impact on clarity and readability. Color is described by the dimensions of hue, intensity, and value. Begin to recognize the changes that you're noticing. Color influences the perception of depth and space based upon its foreground and background. The red foreground, used with varying backgrounds, shows the result of combining various colors. Watch as the red recedes or advances in response to the different backgrounds that are assigned. Consider here the clarity and readability of your costume choices on varying colored floors. Hue is the name of any recognizable color and is a dimension of color. Intensity is the purity and saturation of the hue and moves from a very bright color to low saturation, a more neutral or gray color. Value is the amount of black or white added to pure hue.
The color wheel provides a structure to understand colors. It teaches about primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. It's a valuable tool from which we can develop design schemes to combine colors. It suggests important options which can contribute to the clarity of the design. Motion combines design principles, changing static art to moving design or choreography. One must understand motion, its aesthetics and function to apply design principles validly to the changing shapes we measure. Motion can reflect space, time, flow, and path. Choices in motion will alter or enhance design efforts and is a design choice in and of itself. Musical development is the foundation or motivation for visual design. This is done in two ways. The first is horizontally or through time running from the first count of the show to the last. Within this framework in creating the visual script, the designer considers the following. Time signature. Tempo. Length of phrase. Counts within the phrase series of phrases which combine to create a common thought, movements or more lengthy passages, and certainly rhythm. Vertical structure suggests the orchestration or layering of body and equipment and often reflects the complexity of the music or its multiple lines. Consider this. Monophony is a single musical thought without support. <laughs> Homophony is a dominant musical thought, however it contains support. Polyphony contains two interacting musical thoughts, each significant and independent. Counterpoint contains two or more independent and simultaneous musical thoughts. The advent of the spoken word has opened up a unique musical consideration. Any dialogue, poetry, or narrative carries a unique sense of phrasing, meter, enunciation, accents, and it suggests that the motion describe the subject matter. The viewer must understand poetic meter and the unique style of delivery each narrator will use. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary over many acquaint and curious volumes forgotten law, while I nodded, nearly napping, Suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. To some visitor I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this, and nothing more. And the present in my soul grew stronger, hesitating then no longer. Sir, said I, or madam, truly your forgiveness I implore, but the fact is I was napping, and so gently you came rapping, and so faintly you came tapping, tapping at my chamber door, that I scarce be sure I heard you, till I opened wide the door. More. Emphasis is the planned organization of design establishing priority for the eye. Emphasis directs the viewer's eye in any work and will help clarify concerns about focus. Current designs have opened new options in how emphasis is applied. It can be placed upon a common ensemble effort. 
it can include multiple events which occur simultaneously but have a related purpose. Or it can be on individuals and their own unique contribution to the composition. Emphasis is achieved by contrast, isolation, placement, or color. At its most basic level, let's begin to understand this through the designs. The top picture offers emphasis through contrast. The emphasis is on the horizontal line through contrast and placement relative to the vertical lines. The second graphic demonstrates emphasis by contrast and placement again. Angularity sets it apart from the curves and its isolated place gives emphasis. The third graphic offers an example of emphasis because of size. In the top graphic, emphasis is achieved through the positive space form. In the second graphic, the placement of the square in front of the others lends it emphasis through placement. In the bottom example, the placement and size of the triangle to the right gives it emphasis in this picture. Unity is the purposeful agreement among the elements of a design. It implies that a congruity or agreement exists among the elements. The important aspect of visual unity is that the whole must be predominant over the parts. You must first see the whole pattern before noticing the individual elements. The aim of unity is to make the design coherent and readable. Look at the three versions of the printed word. In the first, we have difficulty seeing the relationship of the letters. The second, while organized and readable, still contains letters that are different in size and style. The final example is easy to read and coherent. Unity, the glue that connects the composition. Starting with a basic geometric shape, learn all of the options available to you in changing that shape. Discover how one form can evolve into another and how you can change the look of each shape. Remember that there are only four basic geometric shapes from which all others evolve. Practice this skill altering the spatial relationships. When you become comfortable in this technique, the idea of writing drill will become less intimidating. When you are secure with how to change shape, then begin to consider the function behind each change. Are you setting up for a major impact point? Are you setting up for an equipment change? What will the equipment be doing during these form changes? What will the body be doing during these form changes? Practicing these techniques are an important part of your basics in learning to manipulate space and create design. Be sure to consider the rules of balance and clarity. Consider the appealing look of each effort. Always know the total design intent involving equipment and body before you design the staging or form. Motion is an important tool. It brings life to static pictures. It transitions the performer from one set to another. It connects design ideas. It governs the logic behind the evolution and development of your visual thoughts. It's a design option in and of itself. Motion is the tool which governs the direction the eye will follow and guides the viewer from point to point within the moving design. Its speed and direction can stimulate surprise, appeal, and effect. Motion offers contrast to fixed or static sets. It must exist in any of the three design options, geometric, freeform, or theatrical. It's the lifeblood of changing stage and presentation of equipment and movement. The colored lines indicate the pathway for each individual in the act of moving from one set to another. Individuals might leave the original set on different counts to avoid traffic congestion. Their step size could vary between individuals bringing further interest to the motion. The purpose behind this picture is to demonstrate the trace patterns that their motion will make and demonstrate the need to have balance, clarity, and aesthetic appeal within the motion. Be prepared to alter one or more pathways in order to achieve just the look and feel you want to establish. Consider changing the set to which they will build if that will allow you better clarity of resolution. Decide if you want them all to arrive at the set simultaneously or if it will build one at a time. This may influence when they leave the original set, 
how many or how large their steps will be in traveling, and the direct or indirect pathway that they will follow. This process is frequently done one or two people at a time, adding on individual until the motion is satisfactory. This set gives us a nine-person filled form. Black dots represent weapons, and the broken curvilinear line represents a static flag line. Here, the filled weapon form will evolve to a new set, which is being established to create an equipment effect. The color dotted lines indicate their pathway. Flags would remain static in the form, while weapons traveled around and through their line to the new set. The sense of motion contrasting a fixed line shape offers interest and appeal. Experiment with when each weapon will depart on the new path. Experiment with your options as you decide how to move the individuals from one picture to the next. Be sure each pathway creates a pleasing trace pattern as they move, and always be sensitive to visual balance while in motion. They should arrive in time for the flags to complete their phrase and be set to create an impact through a weapon aerial. This chart shows you the final clean set, which offers impact and resolution through the clarity of the set and through the absence of motion. Freeform can be an exciting experiment as your design skills grow. This chart gives you an idea of just one of endless possibilities that you could explore depending on the ability of your performers, the amount of time you wish to spend in freeform motion, and your own understanding of the challenge of this approach to motion. Proper use of space will make a major difference in the readability and appeal of your design. Using many spatial options will lend interest and contrast to your presentation. Understanding space will set your equipment or dance efforts up for best success. Proper depth and separation of your elements will enhance the clarity and readability of your design. Altering space will change the look and dynamics of any set and the equipment or movement presentation upon that set. This chart is set up in a tight wedge. It's suitable for a strong dance statement if your members are skilled in that area. It's far too close, however, for most equipment moves. It's the type of form that suggests both an impact and a resolution. Its proximity to the front stage sideline lends it emphasis by its placement. This larger and more open filled wedge is what we call a positive space form. It's strong because it is filled. It's suitable for most equipment statements because it allows room for dimensionality. It too could serve as an impact point or resolution. The fact that it is the only form on stage lends it emphasis. Its placement, center stage, suggests importance. This close interval circle suggests that any equipment work will best be presented into the center of the circle or blossoming out. This form can work well for dance or movement presentations done on the floor when they're done into the center or out from the bounding line. This form does not usually work well when all members face the audience for their presentation. It's a shape that strongly dictates the layering of equipment and body through their direction. This set of trios has been created to do an integrated equipment feature. Black dots represent flags, red dots represent sabers, green dots represent rifles. Notice the positioning of the top and bottom equipment pieces. Depending on how the eye divides this picture, and depending on how the equipment work is written, your clarity could be impacted. Notice that it is set up for half the guard to do their work to the right and half the guard to do their work to the left. While the sets themselves offer good clarity, the layering of the work will have a significant impact on readability. Here our trios have been staged differently. In this chart as well, the trios are intended to present their equipment or bodywork to the left on one side of the stage and to the right on the other. However, the eye will have no trouble dividing the stage and appreciating this layered effect. Here we begin to explore space and staging primarily in terms of separation of elements and clarity or readability. We're dealing with three geometric shapes. 
We have an arc of flags represented by the black dots. We have a rectangle of rifles represented by the green dots and a triangle of sabers represented by the red dots. If you simply look at the picture, you might feel that it's pretty readable. However, when equipment or bodywork is layered on this set, there will be inadequate opportunity to separate the three elements, discern what each is doing, and it will be cluttered and dense. Here we try to rectify our staging problem. We continue to utilize the curved line, the rectangle, and the triangle. But we have now given each section adequate space. We must be concerned in this set about readability in the green rifle rectangle. Placing the members in files is frequently a poor choice because it masks some of the members and leaves them very exposed to error. If all three sections are going to do equipment work, we would worry about the flags blocking the rifles. We must also be concerned about unity and ask ourselves how the three elements tie together. Restaging our three forms, arc, rectangle, and triangle, we begin to see a stronger opportunity for clarity. We've offset the rifles, but we still have three sabers in a file. The form shows improvement and offers better clarity and could serve as a strong impact point and set us up for some nice musical equipment efforts. We would have to question it from the point of view of balance and saber picture. Here we have a stronger sense of unity. All the individuals are clearly visible, and it would seem that there is adequate space for the equipment needs. This is a set that has the potential to create a strong coordinated impact, depending on the layering of body and equipment, and would probably work if the sabers were working from ground level, offering some dimensionality. The important point is that it will take care and a discerning eye to assure that pictures that look fairly sound on paper can translate with valid presentation to the stage. The big offset positive space form presents the members for a powerful equipment statement. If done in unison, it's a guaranteed impact. Impacts are often achieved through unison efforts and can reflect strong dynamic intensities through the generous space provided for their efforts. This is a variation on the previous chart, but calls upon width in its presentation. It could evolve from the previous chart and indicate greater dynamics or development and suggest a strong resolution. The big picture offers all of the members in a common form. Its very strength and unity suggests an impact point. This unified picture involves the members within sections creating a common form. The colored dots indicate green rifles and red sabers. This, like the previous set, suggests impact and resolution through its unity within the picture and its proximity to the front stage sideline. This picture also sets both weapon sections up for an easy move to the front sideline should you be anticipating an equipment change there. This program will incorporate aspects of geometric and freeform design with some theatric interaction between the performers. With full awareness of the planned orchestration of body and equipment, understanding the desired pacing and planned effects, the designer now reviews the staging concepts for their own value and to be sure that they will provide the choreographer and equipment designer the opportunities to fulfill the program. Here we measure the variety of the design choices. We consider the spacing, the aesthetics, speed, and pathway of the motion. We check for proper balance on the stage and look to see that there is logic and imagination in how the performers will move from set to set. It's important that impact points and resolutions are set up for best success and to assure that the flow and staging of the performers will provide the best opportunity to unfold the program. We look for contrast, tension, and release. 
We verify that the design requirements fall within the ability levels of the performer's development, challenging them without surpassing their potential. It's important to be sure that clarity exists and that there is ample time for the performers to move comfortably from position to position. We measure the moving design for how well it lays upon the eye and how pleasing its own flow and evolution is, independent of the layering that will be orchestrated on it. This aspect of the total design can only be made with consultation with other members of the design team, a full understanding of the music, its counts, its high and low points, and the pacing between effects and resolutions. With the assurance that all of these staging components are in place, it is then time to assess how the staging will present the fully orchestrated visual design. The opening portrait informs us that there are props and flats which adorn the stage and which the designer considered in creating the presentation. There is an enhanced sense of balance and emphasis through the addition of these pieces, and the flow and delivery of the motion takes on new meaning. The layering of character adds a level of depth to the design, enhancing the meaning of the program. There is ample space for the layering of body and equipment, and the program moves well for this young Class A group. A good level of emphasis has been placed on the equipment skills, and the vocabulary here is presented well with good staging and clear readability. Impact points, which often occur within a geometric shape, are creating good effect. Equipment is frequently the means to measure the success in this presentation. There's an opportunity to challenge the performers with aspects of the triad, assuring success because they travel in well-defined, comfortable pathways. The pacing of the motion invites some fairly long equipment phrases, and the entire presentation shows a unity of designed intent. Dimensionality through the use of equipment and body brings depth to the program and works to reflect the musical mood and structure. The performers have the opportunity to develop both their own individual skills and ensemble skills in involving unison efforts. All of the coordinated whole lays pleasingly on the eye and is staged to the performer's best advantage. Appreciate the subtlety of the impacts, the clarity of the resolutions, and the logic and flow of each visual idea. The staging and design of the form show has tremendous influence on the success and comprehensive readability of the total design. Good design involves the planning of the entire program in the creation of a full and well-developed visual idea. The components of equipment, movement, and form are equal in importance. The truest measure of success, however, is the equal partnership of the three blended together to create an inseparable whole, a moving display of color, music, and dimension. Each design aspect in full support of the others, in mutual harmony and trade-off. Follow along as we identify the design choices in this program. The filled lateral lines introduce the individuals in freeform pathways. Geometric form, stage right, begins to move onto the floor. Balance is achieved through the freeform efforts while the geometric shape develops. Alteration of space in the varied elements creates interest in dynamics. Freeform efforts move and develop as the picture begins to grow. We see three variations of space as the forms evolve. A close positive space shape, stage left, open freeform center stage, and developing lateral line front and back. We see shape, line, dimensionality, and manipulation of space. Dimensionality is achieved through the layering of the flag phrase. There is good clarity throughout as the girls move to resolution in this form. Open space as the girls build backstage allow us to see line and equipment dimensionality. There is freeform effort and continued dimensionality through the flag phrase. The freeform motion is compatible to the musical structure. The equipment statement backstage in the widely spaced line contrasts the tighter spaces of the clusters. Use of varied space within the sections lend interest within the design. Change of pace relative to how people move is another area of interest in terms of dynamics of motion. 
The big positive space form sets us up for an impact point and evolves into resolution to the parameters of the floor. The move to the floor brings completion and obvious resolution to the first half. The second half begins with a variation of the Silent Night theme. From a clear floor, one individual at a time enters to demonstrate individual skill and dimensionality. The manner and method of staging, the number of individuals, work well in support of the musical mood and the lyrical nature of the soundtrack. Freeform development lays pleasingly on the eye and brings emphasis to the individuals, demonstrating isolated single skills. Motion begins to evolve into a line in the front, and again, the choice of compression and expansion of space in the shapes and forms lend interest and breadth to the design. Balance is maintained as the ladies change places on the stage. Tacit resolution of the flags and rifles backstage offer a backdrop to the freeform sabers on stage. Notice the small positive space form stage left and how it moves through the open filled form to develop to the back of the wedge to complete the impact point and resolution of this statement. The shape change of the filled form works well to continue the important equipment statement. Development front stage sideline completes in a lateral line with close interval offering contrast in space both laterally and through depth. Equipment dimensionality layers nicely with the expansion and contraction of space and the motion which takes the girls front and back lays pleasingly on the eye in a fluid manner creating another positive space form and dimensionality through equipment. Both equipment and motion supports the lyrical sustained nature of the music. Speed picks up a bit, changing the motion into a tight compressed form, building and releasing the tension as the girls move singly out of the form. Contrast, tension, release. Positive space block stage right, geometric form, big open space, form center stage has emphasis and importance by size and placement. Pathway and motion never interrupt another segment or form. Girls resolve to the back and right stage sideline, giving way to a geometric form entrance, followed by the entrance of a second repeated geometric form. Freeform motion takes the girls into varying clustered sets, offering a small resolution with a recap of the childlike character of the show. Design here shows dimensionality and interest within each cluster, allowing the girls to move playfully to the first resolution. The big filled form suggests completion, but the final postural move to the ground and the curl around the stuffed animal fully punctuates and completes the visual composition. The study of design is unending. The mastery of its basics demands exploration of its endless possibility. To taste the joy of creativity is addictive because its rewards are so high. It's an endless commodity with full opportunity for everyone.